do 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 Holy mother of rawr! To my delight, Jurassic World was thoroughly enjoyable from start to finish. I'm truly invested in the Jurassic Park movies and have a high regard for the original. So as you can imagine, I was a little bit excited and nervous and concerned all at the same time. Let's face it though, the film was never going to top the original, but it certainly does capture it. And yes, it definitely beats the third. And for any JP fans, I can guarantee that when you first see the park in Jurassic World, your emotions will just run wild. I was holding back the tears. Maybe not holding them back, but it was just floods. It, it was at a big emotional moment. So I watched this in the IMAX. Dinosaurs are scarier in the IMAX. Once the film sets itself up and the dino chase begins, it really is non-stop and keeps you on your toes. It really is continuous entertainment and a great fun thriller. Though I kept feeling like something was missing. It may have been Sam Neill, it might have been Jeff Goldblum. Now I understand why they didn't return because it would have been just one huge crowbar to get them to the Jurassic World. But my dedication and my love for the franchise meant I still missed them. But not to worry because Chris Pratt will fill that void quite nicely. Thank you. Pratt really is conquering Hollywood with his leading man status, and in my opinion, he is the perfect hero to root for. He's charismatic, he's got a good physique, he's easy on the eye. Bryce Dallas Howard does a fine job at being this uptight businesswoman to this caring, kick-ass jungle survivor, but the chemistry between her and Pratt is just abysmal. How can you look at Chris Pratt? and be so dead behind the eyes. How? Now I would have been happy with a simple dino on the loose story to reference a line from the third film. Yes, I am referencing the third film. <laughs> chaos, everything's chaos. You know, that would have done me fine. But instead, to infuriate me, <laughs> the screenwriters decided to have this rather heavy subplot that had no bearing on the film, repeated the story of the original, and just created some unnecessary characters. The main pointless character was that of Vincent D'Onofrio, which is just rather offensive that you would misuse an actor like that. <clears throat> if the film had just been one big dino chase, I would have been more forgiving towards the script. But seeing as they decided to put all this other stuff in the shopping trolley, they must pay the price. The script is incredibly plain, especially when you think about all the classic lines that are in Jurassic Park. You know, the one that comes to mind, which is a favourite of mine, is if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the Pirates don't eat the tourists. Nothing memorable is said in this film. But as much as the script and characters are of a poor level, it doesn't stop the film from being so fun. The franchise is back on track, creating a world closer to the original and earning a place as best sequel. And Nick up. Oh, Damn it. Jake Johnson was totally the best character in this film. So who is your favourite character from the whole of the Jurassic Park franchise? Just pop your answer in the comment box below. Don't forget to thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe so you never miss out on a new video. And don't forget to answer the question by leaving a comment in the box you below. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description box. If you enjoy the channel and would like to give something back, you can become a patron. If you are unable to contribute, hitting the share button to Twitter and Facebook can go a long way too. All of the Jurassic Park franchise Franchise! Franchise! Franchise!